to answer your question as well, um, I'm from Australia, so um, similar to Andy, this is my first uh, job, American job, and in Australia I um, worked on some television and some feature films and just finished shooting a film in Australia this year. Um, but this has been a wonderful entrance into you know, American television and what an amazing gift it has been to play such a crazy complex character and work on such amazing writing with such a brilliant cast. Explain to my parents I really want them to watch this show because uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's really great writing. You'll love it, but unfortunately, they, yeah. <laughs> but um, my favorite scene or story uh, point, the whole thing is Borrow's death. Like, wow, like that just fucking blew my mind. And I just, <laughs> like, holy shit. And so, my question is mainly for you, Andy, but for everyone else, like, how the hell do you pull that off? You know, killing your best friend, killing this. Yeah. I am. Um, I actually remember calling. Do you remember this? I called you up one day and said, "Do we have to kill him?" I do remember that. Like, he's awesome, and I want to <laughs> hang out with him for the rest of his life. And they said, "No, look, this is the most powerful thing for the show to kill your best friend. Like, this is the kind of stuff that's going to take you on to do." you know, what Spartacus is going to do. Um, shooting it was, you know, we had three days to shoot that scene. It was a lot of coverage, and Jai and I were a mess. You know, we were a mess shooting that, because it was, we really cared about our characters and what they were going through, and it was really complicated. And, I, and I'm really, I love the way it turned out. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great scene. We actually loved Jai so much, he was supposed to die in episode 8, and we kept him around for two more. <laughs> so you did listen to me? Yeah, just for you, Andy. <laughs> like I said, it was great, and I'm uh, looking forward to everything in the future. So, thanks. Hi, my question is for... Lucy, but first, Andy, I'm here with my teacher, and she is so incredible that she got me into the show and brought me here. So I was wondering if you, you know, you could give her a call sometime. <laughs> get her back. Unfortunately, you've got to raise her. <laughs> we will not fail her. Absolutely, of course. Thank you. Whatever you want. Whatever you need. I was gonna ask, what class is this for? Well, actually, she's a substitute. That's a hell of a substitute. Right on. I think that call could be even more irritating if you had Stephen call. <laughs> hey guys, I'm uh, from Canada. I'd like to say that uh, we love you. We love watching you guys. Very talented. Everybody, uh, my question is for pretty much everyone up there. Uh, what's your favorite scene and why? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, killing Barrow, just because it was um, a huge, epic turning point in the in the character, and, um, I, and I just talked about it. So for me, it was it was uh, a very overwhelming thing to do, and I'll always remember that. There are so many scenes that I loved. I mean, that is definitely right up there. Uh, I, I also love the scene where Alithia goes bananas on Lycania. <laughs> Which was great. And one of my favorite shots of the whole season one was uh, the, the Spartacus leap up to the balcony in the <laughs> I, I like 
I kind of like that buffer scene, only because it was so intense. <laughs> 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 I was thinking the same. Were you thinking that too? <laughs> yeah, but, but, but for a very specific technical reason, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> technical reasons. You know, there's, there's been a lot of hype about the sex, and there always is, you know, like whenever there's sex and something, there's always kind of a lot of um, vague sort of headline chat about it. But I think that scene, I, I, I've never known any scene to inform on a character so much. Or a show. Or, or, or a show, <laughs> but also as a character for both yeah. of us to be having a conversation with each other while that was happening. <laughs> Illustrated not only what we felt about slaves, but, but said something about our sense of selves. And as a technical point from how Stephen manufactured and constructed that, I think it's just genius. I think it's really genius. So it, it was such a clever construct that it was... And it told, it, told the audience, all bets are off. You are not in Kansas anymore. Your <laughs> rules do not apply in our world. And, and it was, I think, one of the first crazy water cooler moments. You know, where... yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I never saw that on TV before. Yeah. Oh, you know, um... I actually enjoyed it when um, the power flipped between Alethea and Lucretia and um, I started to actually find the complexities of what it was like to have to also be a survivor, like so many of the other characters in the series. Suddenly Alethea's privilege and, you know, abundant, spoilt princess-like ways kind of had to be, um, um, you know, shifted and transformed to survive in this world. So there's an, a scene, I think, in episode 13 between Lucy and I, um, where uh, I, you know, it's just a small scene, but I actually enjoyed it because it was a kind of different quality in Alethea that I could um, begin to explore. Thank you, guys. Stephen, you, uh, you, you were talking about the, the shot and uh, the, the leaping up shot. You, the show is such a distinctive, uh, incredible look. And, uh, and it's evolved a little bit over the course of the season. You know, the first couple episodes were a little bit different than, than the way it got going. Is that a look that's going to sort of continue to involve, or, or are you just sort of, okay, now we're at where we're at? No, definitely. Much like with the writing, um, we are continually uh, trying to refine how the show looks. And, and we'll keep tinkering with the visual effects and figuring out new things to do. And, uh, you know, some of them work, some of them won't. We'll keep the ones that do, and uh, hopefully just keep getting more and more spectacular as we go along. Uh, considering the demographics of the room and the age group, we're wondering if you guys ever considered maybe uh, entertaining the idea of a video game, like PlayStation, Xbox, something like that. Oh, there you go. That's a good question. That has come up. We, we have talked about it. That's all I can say right now. But uh, I, the two things I really want, and I'll be quite honest with you, is I want a console game and I want action figures. <laughs> <laughs> really want some action figures? I'm just saying. And uh, Andy, for you, uh, I guess in a personal way, I should thank you because uh, I lost like 30 some pounds and it wasn't because of the fact that I couldn't get through a single episode with my wife up telling me, why can't you look more like him? <laughs> jealous of them because they were doing it. No. Viva and I would sit upstairs like chugging down grapes and Turkish delight and just going, ah, look at those suckers down the door. <laughs> no. But I have started to work out for the first time in my life just recently, so. <laughs> yeah.